right now on Operation Repo. Put the knife where I'm gonna stick it up your ass. No reason for man. You guys got my uh, deposit? Oh, you gave a deposit? How much did you give a deposit of? Uh, $1,000. Oh, it shot off on me. Corporate guy, you know, I understand he has a job to do, but like everybody else says, you know, Matt, Froy, Sonia, you know, it will limit our say as to what happened. Now we can do whatever the hell we want. It's gonna be different because they're gonna be like, well, you know what? You're not in charge anymore. You're no longer the boss's daughter. What year were you born? 88. Your parents were divorced, right? My parents divorced. I don't know where you heard that one from. Oh, okay. Must have just been misinformed then. <laughs> if my parents being together or them not being together, what the hell does that have to do with anything? Okay, let's go. Okay, go get it. Well, when we got there, the car was outside, and since we have these corporate guys with us, you know, I'm like doing my best to like keep a straight face, like be really professional, like over the top, you know. Watch the camera, guys. Sometimes they're stupid enough to have to get out of the way. Here's the deal, guys. It's a very uncomfortable situation making sure we do everything by the book. And I gotta work with one of my favorite people, Linda. Beautiful. Got it, Matt? Yeah, yeah, just uh, you verified our VIN and everything, right? Uh, uh, who are you? Senor Rodriguez, uh, habla inglés? Yes, I do. How are you? Um, well, to be honest with you, uh, we're looking for Claudia. So if you can get her for me. She's my wife, but what's going on? Why you guys are taking the call? Oh, she's your wife? Oh, um, to be honest with you, I really don't need to be talking to you, sir. So I, I just, if you can get me Claudia. Why, why are you taking the car? I, I can't, I don't need to tell you anything and I don't have to tell, I need to talk to Claudia though. Is she in the house? This is my wife, Carvin. I want an explanation of what's going on. I was just trying to tell this guy, look, I can't talk to you. I don't have your name on paperwork. Like, I need to talk to your wife. I'm sorry, I understand, blah, 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 blah. So uh, I'm sorry and you know. So you don't want to tell me what's going on? Hey, Matt, Matt. You need a hey, knife. Hey, what's going on, man? Hey, put the knife away or I'm going to stick it up your There's no reason for man. So are you going to talk to me? I'm going to talk to you. Okay, I need, to I need like a man. Yeah, I need to know what's why going on here. That's all I want, okay, then man? Then why don't you put it away? I'm going to put it away. Why don't you, you put it away and I'll talk on? to you. I'll talk to you. This guy may not have been the registered owner of the car, but he was the husband of the person who owned the car. It's okay to talk to them and tell them what's going on. You don't have to give them pertinent information, but it's okay to tell them, we're a repossession agency, and we're here to pick up the car. Good man. What's going on, sir? The car is being repossessed. Okay. Apparently. What is repossessed? Okay. When your wife doesn't make the payments on the car, the finance company repossesses the car. Okay. That's what's going on right now. And let me tell you something. The easier we get it, the easier you'll get it back. How can I get the car back? Here's what you're going to do. You want to explain to him how you're going to get the car back? Or you want me to deal well, with Well, your wife needs to catch up on her payments, okay? She owes money. She owes a lot of money, so she needs to pay that money. Okay, here's what you're going to do. You're going to call the finance company. We're going to give you a number to call the finance company. Yeah, okay? give me that number, please. We're going to give you that number, okay? Your wife's going to call them. She handles the payment. You'll come down to our yard, and you'll pick up the vehicle. Simple as that. How much is that going to cost? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just a representative of the finance company. I don't know. I can't even accept money from you. Okay? Why? I'm not allowed to. You no, know, the only proof is that I pulled the knife out because she didn't. She was no, just ignoring me. Okay. I understand. You came to talk to me. I was confused. I don't know what is going on. Sorry. I'm. I'm. You know. I'm, I understand. This, I no, don't no. have this every day. You know. I'm sorry. You know? I understand. I understand. Uh, Can you see how easy it is when you just explain something to somebody and they're not giving you crap? 
So that didn't go as planned. Hmm. What do you mean it didn't go as planned? What are you what are you referring to exactly? Well, generally when one is threatened with a deadly weapon, uh, we have protocol for that, but that's all right. I do think that turning this into a corporation like my dad wants to do is a good thing, but at the same time, is he gonna have the same amount of control that he has over the business now? Well, I just uh, curious about what just happened back there. I, I'm not used to this sort of thing. And okay. um, generally, there's, there's a procedure for circumstances, <laughs> situations, if you will, where people pull out um, weapons. Okay. What might have uh, gone differently? In this particular repo? Yes. You gotta understand something. This is not a text, this is not a classroom. This is not a boardroom. This is the streets of LA. Now, I gotta go deal with this guy from corporate. And I wanted to make it perfectly clear, this ain't the boardroom. There are situations when the rules go out the window. Mm. And when a man's coming in your face right here and he's gonna put you on your with a gun or a knife, what are you gonna do? Mm. You're gonna follow a rule book? Mm. You're gonna follow your gut? You know, I'm following corporate procedure, but this behavior is gonna get either me or one of my team members killed. There is no way I'm gonna work for a guy like this. I'm not getting out until I get my money, all right? Stop, okay. get out of the boat. All right, so, so tell me the story on this one. Well, um, this company, they have a whole bunch of boats and they rent them out, but the company went under. And they completely went under, filed for bankruptcy, all that good stuff. And didn't tell the person that they rented the boat out to. They rented it out to a James A James Yeah, that's who rented the boat. I can't see the CF number, can you see it? Oh gosh, I can't even see it. Keep getting, it's up there on the top, right? The top portion, I see it. Oh, don't go in the water, dude. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Awesome. And these people were expecting somebody to come get the boat, because that's how they do it. They bring the boat to you, you know, leave the boat there, you know, whatever. You filled out whatever you had to take, fill out, and somebody comes and picks the boat up afterwards <laughs> when you're done. And they were expecting someone. Hey, what's up? Oh, yeah, we're here to pick up the boat. Wait, Fantastic. Yeah. Which one of you guys is Jane? That's me. That's you? Yeah, All right, cool, dude. So we're here taking care of it. We're going to pick up the boat. Hey, you, got, you guys got my uh, deposit? Oh, you gave a deposit? How much oh, did you yeah. give a deposit of? $1,000. Uh, oh, you gave a $1,000 deposit, huh? Yeah. And I think that, you know, once they seen the shirts, they, they started asking questions of what's going on. Who's going to give them their deposit back? You know. Uh, what is up with the cameras? Yeah, okay, uh, the cameras are here for our protection, okay? Um, protection? We're really... Hey, yeah, we're vicious. Around. Really. <laughs> we're gonna go. Well, we hold on a second, okay? Um, we're not really from the rental company. What happened is the company that rented you guys' this boat it completely went under. They filed for bankruptcy, everything, the whole spiel. Okay. So they told us yeah. where the boat is, so we're here picking it up because they're giving up the boat. All right. I do understand. <laughs> what about his deposit? <laughs> That's I not with me. I have a deposit. Me. You can't take the boat. With That's not with me. No, actually, we can take the boat. The thing is, is your deposit that has nothing to do with us. You have to go back. That's to fine. Work. I mean, let's just. No, 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 no. Yes. Look, it's not fine. Okay. No, it's it is my fine. money. It's my money. Somebody already took it. They have to get it back. Okay. Oh, definitely. A They're gonna give it back to you. Definitely. It's just not with us because you didn't give me the thousand dollars. Okay. So what happens right? if you guys take the boat and then I don't get my money back That's and I don't have anything to? That's with you and the company that you got it from. And if they're bankrupt, how are they gonna give the deposit back? Well, they have to give your deposit well, back. They can't keep it. Like, yeah, when they came to take the boat, like you guys are doing right now, yeah, I was supposed I, to get my money. No, see, here, this is, I, I, I don't think we're understanding it, maybe because you guys have been drinking, which is great, you know, you're having fun, but. But what I'm trying to tell you is, is that, did you give me the deposit? Did you give him, the, did you recognize any of us? Kind of no, yeah, exactly. exactly. So, so how, how am I going to take the boat if it's not yours? Well, it's not yours either. And kind of, you know, they kept their deposit. <laughs> so that wasn't too fun for these people. We can, how am I getting, well, I'm just gonna fork over a thousand, no. I'd, anyways, you have so to go I'm back to the, no. no, 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 you're not, you're not understanding me. You have to go back, 
to where you rented. Right? They're still there though. Once I got the boat out of the water, you know, they were still crying about their deposit, which I have no control over. And I told them this is a repossession. Dude, dude, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 it's not worth it, stop. Well, $1,000 is a lot of money. I, yeah, it is. Wait on your, wait. Almost what? enough for a lot. Yeah, we're getting oh, come on. Stop. Stop. Oh, yeah. I'm not getting out until I get my money, all right? Stop, okay. get out of the boat. Let me tell you what's going to happen, homeboy. Get out of the boat. Okay? You guys got to get out of the boat, all right? Please get out. You guys realize that not only do you have alcohol and you're drinking, we have you on camera. I'm going to call the sheriffs over here. You're going to have a big problem. Well, these guys decided to jump in a boat to play around. You know, so now it becomes dangerous for them. It becomes a liability for me and a danger for everyone else. What? Convince what them to get off. I'm going to call the cops anyway. Oh, here. That's fine. When they get here, if they're still there, they'll tell them to get down. And then they're going to check everybody's IDs to make sure everybody's up. We're out of those rooms. We have your word. Hey, sure. You see, right your word right? is your. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. I don't believe yeah. you. Keep uh -huh. going. Thanks, guys. Are you? We don't need anything, Dad. Stay right there. Don't let them get on there. Yeah, that was a good move on her part to get in the boat. And that way no one else can get up there. So, uh, and it worked out. And we drove away with Lynn in the back of the boat. They were upset, yelling, whatever. We got the boat. We fulfilled our corporate account. We got it. Hey, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey! So anyways, um, this guy on this Porsche, this 87 Porsche, he is a promoter for the Monster Truck Gig. Okay, I know Sonia went on the internet and found out that I have an event over here and that the guy's name is on the flyer on the internet. And he says, hey, let's go to the Monster Truck Rally. Myself, I've never been to one, so I'm like, hey, maybe the car's not there, can we buy some tickets and sit down and watch the show? Man, so this guy, why didn't he just pay his car, man? Yeah, he's obviously, if he's a promoter, he's making good money. They make good money, no? They make good money. He's monster truck promoters. Are you kidding me? This is a multi-million dollar industry. Maybe they haven't paid him. Dirt and sun, there ain't no green trees. There ain't no place you can just tallywaggy to say, get some shade. No, it's all sun. Sun and dirt, Ugh, two combinations that make me sick. Dude, why do we have to wear these damn uniforms, man? So stop it, man. So just look for a Porsche, stop, please. Look for a Porsche. There's a lot of cars here. I need you guys' attention on the car. All right, Porsche, Porsche, Porsche. 911? Yeah, it's a 911 Porsche. All right. So, uh, you know, I had to hear their nagging and complaining for an hour because it took us an hour to get there. And... Everybody's getting, you know, frustrated with it. It's like, you have to wear them all the time. Why do we have to wear them? I just still don't understand why. But you can tell that, you know, kind of Lou is getting to that point where he's like, this is not something that he was expecting, you know, or actually this is something he's looking forward to. Are we in the middle of this? Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. Dude, All we're right, gonna, people, we're gonna get kicked out, out of here. here. We're gonna get there's a bunch of cars parked over there, too. What's that? There's a bunch of cars parked below in the end. All right, I got some good eyes because there's a Porsche right there. Where? And there's right a Porsche down right down here. Ain't too many Porsches. Man, there's a Porsche. Man, a classic, a beautiful car, brother. It's like, I was thinking, man, if this guy does not, you know, make the payments, I'm gonna buy this car from the auction for myself. One? Yeah. Yeah, that's the place. How you doing? What's this guy's name? What are you doing? Robert. Are you Robert? That's my brother. That's your brother? Can you call him, please? What's going on? Can you call your brother, please? Why we do you have these cameras here? We need I to speak know. to Robert. Can you please tell him to come over? Bobby! This guy's brother shows up. What an idiot. He shows up and stirs up a mess out of nothing. Hey, hey, wait. Uh, well, we can only speak to your brother, okay? Hi, sir, we have an order for repossession for this car. Sonia. All right. Robert. Yeah. Okay, we have an order for repossession for this car. All right, all right now we can just... Let me get over there. Well, you know what? I should have known something was going on because Every time we have someone in the scene and they just run away that quickly, that usually means they're gonna go get something to try to harm us with. 
Well, what I need to know is how am I going to get it back? Okay. We, we got a big show tonight. There's going to be a lot of cash. I can pay this tomorrow. Okay, okay. What you have to do is if you can get hold of the finance company today, take care of business, you'll be more, we'll be more than happy to release this car today. Okay, well, well yeah, uh, hang on. But we got to take it today then. Yeah, I understand. I understand. I understand. I just don't want to get hurt. I mean, this is my baby. Okay, you, you want to, okay, you want to, I understand. You want to give us a key for it? Oh, sure. So give it to that no gentleman problem. in there, okay. please. Now, now, here's the thing now. The, the, uh, the starters broke. It went crapped out on me today. So if it run? You, it runs, but you're gonna have to push start it. Okay, ask him for the field. That's fine, we can push start it. Just give us the key, sir. Yeah, you got it right there. Hey, let's push this car, get it started, and let's get out of here, you know, and end our day there. Okay, come, Manuel. Dude, you're not done. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. There you go. All right, stop. Got it? Sounds all right. So we get the car started, warms it up, let's go. I jump in the truck with Sonia and Freud pulls out. Camera guy jumps in the car with them. So uh, we're ready to get out of here and the car stalls, brother. And I'm trying to start it and it kind of wants to click and that's where the starter problem comes in. Oh, it shot off on me. It won't start and one of the fourth or fifth time that I turn it, all of a sudden I hear this. Doesn't start, bro. What the? F what do I do? Oh, I'm thinking. Wait a minute. <laughs> the Porsche doesn't sound like this. What the hell? Hey, that's oh, wait a minute. Get out! Get out! Get out! Oh, it shut off. I don't The brother jumped in one of those monster trucks, and this guy, he didn't care. He just ran, he ran right on top of the Porsche. He jumped it, he backed up into it. He destroyed this car, man. He destroyed a car that wasn't even his. He destroyed a car that the brother gave to us. This guy just trying to run me over. He didn't care that anybody was in there. And for what? For a stupid car. I mean, it was only seconds that, you know, Freud got the camera guy out and, well, both of them didn't get crushed, you know? What the hell is wrong with you guys? What the is wrong with you? What the is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Stay with the truck! Stay with the truck! You Yeah! Sir! Yeah! You come down here and kick your What is wrong with you guys? What the hell is that? Calm down. Call the cop. Call the cop. Calm down. Call the cop. Get down then. Hey. Now, hey. Now you keep the car. Now it's yours. Now you're going to have to worry about them suing your and claiming on your shirt. I was going to get the car back. You know, and, and, and Lou's freaking screaming at him. And I'm, I swear, bro, I wish I would have been taller that I can reach that stupid tire and just jump in and beat his. What the hell is the matter with you? Why don't you come down here for the feature, you punk? Yeah. What the hell? Freaking idiot. I mean, it was like a circus. People yelling. My brother was pissed off. He was angry. I mean, it was like, what's wrong with you guy? I mean, are you not in your right senses to be doing this crap? Come here. Come here, you mother. Come. Dude, I'm gonna hit you. Come down here. I'm gonna hit Come. you. You're gonna hit me. Get down here. Get you. You destroyed like you mother. Dude, you better get down here right now. I will. Get down here. Don't touch me. You better get your down here right now. Dude, I'm. I'm yeah, you're. You're an idiot. I'm hitting this guy as hard as I could, man. I know I broke something. Because I was hitting him. I was hitting him in the rib, in the thigh, in his leg. I was hitting him hard. And that's what he gets, man. He's lucky that he wasn't in front of me because he would have had a serious problem. Hey, everybody. Hey, camera guys, let's roll. Let's get out of here. Hey, don't worry, okay? You guys get to keep the freaking car. Hey, don't worry. You're going to go to jail in front of the man, you idiot. 
Okay, attempted murder, stop. Are you stupid? And what we have it on camera. But you know, now I, that I see the, the video, I mean, it was it was pretty close, man. It was pretty close, and, and you know, one of the one of the things that I thought was was my kids. You know, I, I thought that you know if something bad happens. You know, what's what's gonna happen with them? You know, it's the first thing I was thinking about. Poor Freud. I thought he was gonna get crushed. Can we rewind that? Are those cops right there? Yep. Let's go pull over. Hack the horn. Flag the flag the cops down. Flag the cops down. Hack the horn, Freud. It was insane. Next thing you know, the cops are everywhere. We got sheriffs on horses. We got them on cars. We got them walking. They knew what was going on, and I told them the first thing he did was made us turn off the cameras. You know, and one of the other things, too, is that, you know, I decided that um, we're going to go back to the way we were. These corporate shirts, gone. All this corporate nonsense and mumble jumble, it's not worth one of my guys' lives. We've been wearing bulletproof vests and, and, and uniforms for the last freaking, you know, 100 repos we've done or so, and has it helped in any way? Did, have you seen any difference? Because I haven't. You know, there was this terminology I used to use at this place I used to work. I said, keep it simple, stupid. Because the more simpler it is, the better it is. The more complicated, the more stupider it becomes, and the more mistakes we make, and the more we hate it. So, keep it simple.